No. You, you kind of get over Dandruff. it. That's how you do it. I asked for consent every Left time. O- leftover cocaine from the early 2000s. We are rolling right now. <laughs> I don't care. It's no secret. It's in the Inquirer. Oh my goodness. So, are you ready to get uncomfortable? Are you ready to get uncomfortable? Are you ready to get uncomfortable? Uh oh. I think that. What the I hell know. is this? Listen, kid. I'll tell you what this is. Excellent question. This is for you. You're going to be answering the questions I'll be asking you on the erasable board. I hope okay. you still know how to write. I think so. Yeah. You and I are old school. Yep. Put this okay. on to the side. Holy Jesus. Get oh, your I'm... little poking stick, kid. Don't poke your eye out. Ooh. Okay. All right. We're not messing around. We got this. All right. And let's get uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Go. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> you pooped mine. Ah. <laughs> raining questions. That's, that's right. So there you go. Listen, without looking at the questions, pick five. Go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I, all the ones that are face down. I picked all Good face call. down. That means you were looking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, give, 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 give. I want to ruin the fun. So we swap them. Oh, switch? Yeah, these are my questions. I am responsible for my own questions, and you're asking them for me, <gasps> and vice versa. I'm scared. Dude, it sucks. <gasps> I know. <laughs> It is. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's not. It's not easy. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna put them here. So now I, I'm asking you your questions. 100. percent Okay. And I'm asking you your questions. Okay. All right. So put that over there so you don't have to hold them. Get your erasable board. Oh my God! You're Flip so. Flip them. It's full of instructions. So bossy. There is only one way All to right, do right, this, right. and All it's right. uncomfortable. And put that over there. Oh my God! So many directions. Listen, I'm All exhausted right. already, dude. Can we just call this the show? You're exhausted. Attend this. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think we're done. All right, let's get uncomfortable. All right, let's go. All right, who asks first? Do you want to ask me or I ask you? I'm going to ask you. Ladies too. first. So that means you ask me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't want to be seen as. Mm. What are you laughing at back there? <laughs> I don't want to be seen as. La- Okay. What is it you don't want to be I'll tell seen you, as? I'll tell you what. Why am I writing? <laughs> Go ahead. That's my question. <laughs> irresponsible. Hmm. Yeah, dude. I have this whole thing with, irresponsi- with, with, with ra- responsibility that I don't want to be seen like I'm irresponsible. Although I, d- I do a lot of irresponsible things sometimes. <laughs> I never would have guessed you're an irresponsible no, person. No, no, but I think, it, you know, like everything comes, everything is, every, all your fears and all things yeah. to that matter always come from when you were a little kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's always, like stuff like this. Yeah. So, like for me, growing up, my dad used to think that I was always lying, dude, and I wasn't. Ah, yeah, okay. Like always lying, so I always felt like I needed to, like, Prove that I wasn't lying, that I was really doing what I said I was doing. I was, because I was like 10, 11, 12, you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. doing just, just because he liked to mess with my head and, and, and cultivate that fear in me of, 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 of like, I'm always watching you kind of thing. Yeah. So you better do the right thing kind of thing, sure. you know? Uh-huh. So, I, so I always felt like I had to walk that straight line because I had some, an adult watching me, mm. you know? So that, that worked for me, it worked, and I don't, you know, I, it, not, not, I'm not complaining about it because it, it helped me really want to, maybe his tactics were not the best, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but as a result, you're probably overly responsible. 100%. Yeah. So like if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I don't, it's gonna, if it costs me a leg, if it costs me my hair, if it costs me hair, whatever it, yeah. it is. That I think I, it might have cost you your hair. It did cost you my hair at some point. <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> Bad example. Oh, yeah. perfect example. So, <laughs> but I get it done. Yeah. Like, I don't, I just, I just, I don't, and plus I don't think there's nothing I cannot be or do or have. So yeah. I go for it. Yeah. But, but it falls into being responsible, being cre- credible. Is, a, is very important to me. Yeah. Credibility, dude. 
So when so, when somebody or when you are irresponsible, let's say you yeah you fall off the beam sure. of being hyper responsible. Yeah. Is it like is it like death by a thousand daggers instead of like just a little cut? Because you have that need to be so responsible. I put myself on timeout for sure, dude. Like wow. I'm the first one to to I I, I admit my shit right away. I'm like. Yeah. But there's some self-punishment there. Well, and I think what happens is that my... Su- You're perfectionist. I feel like I'm on your podcast. I'll tell You're you a perfectionist. That. That's, That's what's going on. I see what's going on. Show, it's okay. I it's okay. I take insurance. <laughs> so. I, take it. I don't, bro. I go straight up cash. I, don't, I totally don't. I totally don't. I wish I did. Thank you. So, so, what was your question again about me? <laughs> How do you not want to be seen? Or, or you don't. But you, were, you just said something that was super important. Um, as you were analyzing my, my response to that, I, I need to. No, I was just saying, is it, do you get into some self punishment? Do I punish that? myself? I will, that will, when I do something that I know was wrong and I admit it, it will visit me every day for the rest of my life. Oh, wow. That's, it yeah. visits me. It visits me. Plus, we have sixty to 70,000 thoughts a day. Yeah. That one's always there. Yeah. <laughs> it's that, oh. You know, I don't talk about it. I don't bring it up with anybody. It's my own personal little dark hole. Responsibility, that word is, is so big, man. Yeah. Being responsible is a really big thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. So that would break my heart. Okay. For somebody like, you know, military. Oh, that. Oh, the irresponsible. Yeah, she's so <laughs> irresponsible. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to your question. All right, all right. Uh, (laughs) I got a pee. uh, Well, it might take me a minute to answer it, so you're you're free to go. (laughs) What part of your body do you like the most? (laughs) That's such a trick question. Ah, that's a tough question. I mean, there is the obvious. I don't know what the obvious is. Please help us. But I don't know that it's true. Oh, well, but why don't you just show us? <laughs> I don't know if that's legal. Um, <laughs> no, in, in all seriousness, wow. Huh. You can give me a second. Because I, sure, I, okay. I don't spend any time <laughs> thinking any part of me is really good. <laughs> Okay, let alone, which is my favorite. So, um, <laughs> your body, if you stand in front of the mirror, you don't have to necessarily be naked because that sometimes take, eliminates a lot of your body parts. But when you look at yourself like, oh, I have, oh, this is pretty cool about me. My eyes. Yeah. I think cool. so. I, I have to agree. That's actually, that's the truth. Yeah. When I look at myself in the mirror and I look into my own eyes, I'm just like, hot damn, boy. Oh! Where you been? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, no, I, I, I really, I, I, you know, yeah. And, and conversely, there's been times in my life in the past where I've looked into my own eyes and not been there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, like, when you've had a checkered past, yeah. the eyes are the giveaway. No, that's for the last thing you want to see. The last it's, thing you want to see is an, eye contact is, with yourself. is an empty <gasps> version of yourself. So I look in the mirror now and I see my eyes. I'm, I'm happy, you know? It makes me happy. So, Aww. yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. It makes yeah. you happy. Yeah, things. and my friend Daniel uh, was telling me how beautiful they were earlier. And I was Aww. like, you know, you're right. They, they're not so bad. They're not so bad, but the rest of me can fuck off. No, so that's me. Oh my God, that's great. Yeah. I love that answer. And, and, it, and, and, it, and what you're saying too is super important that, that when you don't like yourself or you're going through some shit, you, don't, you can't look at yourself in the eyes. Yeah. So being able to look at yourself in the eyes and be like, man, I like what I see yeah. is everything. Absolutely. Because it takes a long time to get there. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things too, to get, to go back to the other question you didn't want yeah. to answer is it, you know, with everybody wearing masks and everything now, oh, yeah. it's like kind of the only thing you have are yes. your eyes. Yes. If you're outside, it's like, yes. you know, you have to be extra expressive. Like, you know, even at the grocery store, you know, it's like, yes. 
I have to like be exaggerating your so face. much more expressive with yes. my eyes because you know I can't show my face. That's all you got. It's so tough. It's and weird. I hate that, man. I'm looking around and I'm looking yeah. even here, looking at everybody around. And I'm like, are you happy? Are you smiling? Are you bored? Are you up? Are you sleepy? What's yeah. going on? You know, I don't, uh, you, that rea you, the feedback is tough because you yeah. don't get it. You don't see it, you know? It's, yeah. yeah. It's like, you can also get away with more. A lot more. You know what I mean? But, 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 but the eyes still tell the story, but yeah. Yeah, yeah you could definitely get away with some stuff. Next question for me, please, okay, sir. Okay, miss. What must you let go of? Is that question good or are you want? Yes, it is. Yeah? I don't have a choice. That's my fucking question. I picked it. Yeah. I just have to sit around and think about this. What must I let go of? What must I let go of? Ah. All right, here a minute. Mm. <laughs> what must I let go of? Guilt. Guilt. Oh my God, I'm start crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Fuck, man. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> You're already crying. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> what do you feel so guilty about? Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <it's okay. laughs> dude, wait. Let me write it down because I didn't write it down. Oh yeah. Fuck. Dude. You're a game. I know, dude. I'm not, I'm not even following my own rules. <laughs> dude, man. Because you always feel like you can do better. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah. And. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> what kind of host am I, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so fucking mess. <laughs> you might have to finish the show by yourself. <laughs> It's okay. I, I've been known to talk to myself. It's okay. Dude, today, three years ago, my brother disappeared. And I'm, I feel very guilty that I haven't found him. I still haven't found him. I'm sorry. That's it. Yeah. But it's all good. You know, you do what you can with what you have. Yeah. But yeah, I feel guilty every day about that. Oh. But that's, you know. But it's not my, it's, it, I don't think it's my fault that he disappeared, you know? I think. <laughs> but on. you always think that you can help. It's okay. <laughs> well, it was your idea to I talk know, about dude, all I know, dude. I don't know why I came up with this show, bro. Yeah. It's kicking my ass. <laughs> it's... <laughs> These damn questions. I just want one that says, hey, what's your favorite dessert? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it's true, you know, you, 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 you kind of put it on yourself when, when, when you love someone and you, and you want it, but you can only do so much. Yeah. And you, and, and then, but you always feel like you can do more because you can, I feel like you can, you can always do more. You can always do more. And then what stops you from doing more fear, man, fear of, of like, what happens if I do more and it still doesn't work or what? Or, or do I spend the rest of my life doing this? But if it was not my son, if it was my, I'm sorry, if it wasn't my brother, was it, it was my son, would I just still not give it that much? You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. If I could say one thing, um, maybe it's helpful because I live with a lot of guilt too. And I'm addicted to the one thing that I've never had, which is control. Oh. So what helps me sometimes is to look at, okay, well, what is within my power or what is even my place to change or control or, you know, like I try to just focus on the things that I can control and let go of the things I can't. And I give it to the universe. And, and if there's a way for me to figure out how to be more helpful, then... I pray that I figure it out or whatever, but, you know, I think it's also important to forgive ourselves when we know we've done our best and we'll continue to do our best, but the question is, some things are outside of our control. And sometimes you think maybe sometimes you have to up your best. And is maybe that, sometimes that, you do. I'm wondering if that's part of that whole thing that you like self-punishment maybe? 
Are you yeah, that? I think that, yeah, there yeah. may, that fits into that pattern, I would imagine. I think so. Maybe. Guilt and self-punishment are, you know, yeah. right there. So. Enough about me. Enough Talk about you. About enough you. about me, bro. I'm done with myself. <sighs> 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 what do you wish you could do for your community? What do I wish I could do for my community? It's interesting because community could be what community, right? Yeah, I was just going to ask, right? like, which community? Because I'm Did actually in a few communities. A few communities. Yeah. Which um, are? Which are your communities? Well, I mean, there's my musical community. There's my, you know, the community that is my neighborhood, yeah. which, you know, includes, you know, my kids' schools and, uh, um, you know, family and, and, and friends locally. There's, uh, there's the, uh, the community of, of um, recovering addicts and alcoholics that, yeah. that I, I spend a lot of time with. Um, yeah, it's kind of, th there's a lot. There's the, uh, that's a multi-layered thought. But I think for community at large, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay. Um, I wish I could have gotten that question because I have an answer. <laughs> Well, I have a lot of answers, but I really want to get this one right, so... Um, it's true, your community. It's like you have... I have my trichotillomaniac community, I've got my film community, I've got my art community, but when you put them all together, your universe, what can we give back to our... What was the exact question? What do you wish you could do for your community? What the, do I wish yeah. I could do? That's the an even... Do. That's important do. distinction. Do is the big difference. I wish I could do. I wish... Okay. Which you haven't done it's yet. It's not a one word answer, by the way. But um, here we go. Um, mm, okay. Okay. I would like to help change the way the homeless and the mentally ill are treated. Oh. Yeah. That is so hard. <laughs> it is hard. So, 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 so hard. Yeah. <gasps> because it's how we, you want to change how we treat them, educate the community more about I want to, I want to change how we treat them, not just as fellow human beings, but also change how we help them. Yes. You know, like there needs to be, you know, more opportunity for, because here, here's the thing, I, I really, there are so many people that want help and are actually willing to do what it takes to be better, but there's no infrastructure there, and and there's a stigmatization around certain uh, you know mental illness and, and even a, yes. you know addiction that is like it's a choice you know like being mentally ill is not something that people would willingly choose, no. and the same goes for addiction you or I, you know, I'll use myself as an example. Uh, I never said, I want to be a drug addict when I grow up. Yes. And when I drank my first beer, I never said, you know what would be awesome? Being an alcoholic. No. Okay? And the thing is, is some of the most interesting, empathetic, creative, hardworking, and beautiful people that I've ever known in my life were suffering from something yeah. within that realm. Mm -hmm. And I have friends that have, you know, become homeless past the point of no return. Mm -hmm. 
people that have lost their families, lost all kinds of stuff because people just gave up on them. Yeah. And some of those people gave up on themselves yeah. first, but some of them haven't. Mm -hmm. And I think that I get, I get frustrated because there's a lot of times I really want to help somebody and they really want the help. And because of whether it's the way the, you know, the, the medical and insurance <laughs> systems work in this country or the way things are viewed mm -hmm. uh, by the general public, it's like, you know, it's not a priority. And I think that we're throwing away perfectly good people every day. The fucked up thing about this, and that's a very, that, that hits home big time, is that it could happen to any of any, us. Well, and the thing is... Any of yeah. us can be homeless at any given moment. Any one of us can fall into some severe mental health issues that mm -hmm. drives us away from the family, drives us away from, from our, 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 our homes, and, every, and then all of a sudden you find yourself alone on the street and, you're, and nobody knows where you are, yeah. and you don't know who you are, and, they, and you're in a different state. When you started in Florida, you ended up somewhere else, and it's saying, you know, whatever the, the, the case, it just could happen to anybody. And, 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 I, and I, I engage with a lot of these homeless people pretty often. I had a homeless woman hug me at Publix like four days ago. You know, I was, I was wearing my mask and I was running to get some stuff. And then I realized that I forgot one thing. And when I got to her, I made a quick turn and went back. And I could hear her calling me. And she goes, are you all right? And I didn't think she was talking to me. And I looked back, she goes, are you all right? Are you all right? And then I realized that she thought that I was afraid of her. Yeah. And I turned around and I grabbed what I wanted. I go, no, honey, it's because I went to get something and I forgot one more thing. And then she said to me, did I get too close? And then I said, hmm. no, I just forgot something. And then she walks up to me and she went like this. And I went like this. And we just sat and we hugged. Wow. <laughs> Next to the turkey, dude. <laughs> uh, I love that. <laughs> and we're just sitting there with our masks on and public talking. <laughs> and that was that. And then I just took off. I go, I just be well. And I left, you know what I mean? Yeah. So these people, they, they, they're not used to being seen. They're not used to being touched. They're not, you know, and, and they just want that. You know, I found myself praying with the, with the, with the, with the prostitute at some point outside Puerto Tropical, you mm -hmm. know, and holding hands. Yeah. And it, it just goes on and on. And you, it, but you, it, there's so much damage in so many of these people. And you're like, how do you start to even fix them? How? Well, by doing what you're talking about, by acknowledging that they exist, yeah. by talking to them mm -hmm. and being, uh, you know, actually giving it a shit. Give it a moment. Right? You know, I mean, I give time whenever I can. And I know they f feel better whenever I've talked to yes. homeless people and vice versa. But even bigger than that is the world is insane and everybody's afraid of the coronavirus, yes. and they should be. It's, mm -hmm. it's real. very, very bad uh, for the world. But nobody's doing anything preemptively to handle the addiction and mental health mm -hmm. crisis that will be kicking into overdrive. If it, I mean, it already has, and the, you know, we don't have that much data yet. Yeah. But the little bit that we do is very scary. And with the, the, the trend that I see is this time next year, it's going to be way worse. Oh and, you know, this is like if we can take care of our own, you know, even there are places in the world that take better care of their own yes. than, than we do here. Oh, 100%. I mean, we don't even really take care of the healthy ones here. Mm -hmm. We get the unhealthy ones. Yeah. So, you know, I think that that would change a lot of things about the world if we were to just start there. Yeah. And that's my belief. I think it, you know. I love that. I loved your answer. So there you go. That's my I like answer. that. I like it. Approved. Yeah, baby. Approved by me, baby. Okay. All right. Now give me another answer and make mm, it a little easier. Okay. Softer. <laughs> Where do your eyes gravitate to when you find your reflection? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Where do your eyes... Thank God I got a question like that. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It goes too... Pl oh, yeah. I'll tell you where. Yeah. <laughs> I 
do 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 Collarbone and legs. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm always checking out my collarbones, baby. I, you must, like... I, I mean, I can't see your collarbone, but I... Uh... Dude, I know if my collarbone, if I can see my collarbone, yo, it's game on. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I'm all over these little bones over here, man. <laughs> it's like if, I, if I'm a little bit on the heavy side, I don't yeah. see them. Yeah. And I start trimming down, like, like, whoa! You're like, I'm not leaving the house. Hey, what's up? It's your bone. <laughs> I'm always saying, dude, I want to show my, and I want like a two-year-old kid to just hold on to them like this. That's when I <laughs> carry this kid around from holding, gripping on my collarbones. <laughs> That's when I, know I got my ideal weight going on there. Right on. All right, kid. Next question. What is when happening? I, it's my turn. Well, you know, you got to ask me. I got to ask you. Yeah, yeah. I want to be seen as. Hmm. Helpful. Oh, sorry. <gasps> Oh, sweet. Go for it. I'm sorry. I'm so... You're good. I want to be seen as helpful. Sweet. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Have you always been that way? I think underneath <laughs> the bullshit. Yeah. I think so. I mean, I think that is a mixture of, I think I always was like that as a kid. And then I think as I got older and I became more self-involved. Yeah. And that didn't really take me to the places I thought it was gonna take me and I didn't really like the way I felt when it was just about me. Yeah. And I think that I really do feel my best when I know that I've been helpful. Now that's not to say that I'm just like, like, you know, miss, you know, I'm, I'm not a tow truck driver, you know, you can't, you know, but, but I, in a sense, yeah, I just want to know that I've been helpful. Like, I hope that maybe someday, you know, maybe when I'm no longer here, I'd be pretty happy with they were like, man, that guy was fucking helpful. <laughs> Your idea or my idea, of what I wanted my legacy to be mm-hmm. has changed mm-hmm. dramatically as I get older. I'm sure. You know, so, yeah. I don't know that it's like the dents that I wanted to make in the world maybe weren't the ones that I'm meant to make. But you're not done, dude. Oh, I'm not even close. 100%. I'm just getting started. There but, you go. But there's no guarantees. No, that's true. Times of COVID. But it's okay. <laughs> tons of anything. Yeah, right? but I want to, yeah, I think that's. So, but helpful is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Helpful is a, such a, to, to be considered somebody helpful, it's, it's somebody that you want to have close. Yeah, because or like, yeah, I want to make a difference in the world. Yeah. I want I want to leave the world better than I found it. Yeah. Which is pretty big challenge. It is a big uh, one. As it turns out, but. But you start doing it with your, your closest people and it's like a wave, man. It just goes. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you just got to. Yeah, I just want to be a better version of myself, and the yeah. better version of me is going to have a better effect on everybody, everybody around you. me. You know. Love that. Yeah. Your turn asking me. It How is. many do we have left? Do we we have, have two. You have two. Yeah, two each. We have two. All right. No, I have a yellow. You have a yellow one. So go. What is your greatest personality flaw? Shit. You know, I had to Google flaw when I wrote it. I mean, I know what flaw is, but uh-huh. I just want to see. But you wanted to really know? I was like, what's the, what is the, the actual definition of flaw? Yeah. Think about a personality flaw. <laughs> like this, something that like, when it happens, you go. Oh, that was, that was, me. yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. You go. Okay, oh yes, right. You see, that's why I wasn't sure if I was saying the right thing. It's okay, English, so like, English is not your first language, it's okay. <laughs> Language. It's oh. my only language. This so. is my first language. It's okay. <laughs> okay. It's all good. Uh, I'm back, baby. It's I'm okay. Back. All right. All right. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Personality flow. All right. So, um, dude, I guess, I, 
I guess being reactive, dude. I said it before in something else. Yeah. Being reactive. I'm going to write that down. I okay. have to think about this shit, man. Uh, watch me. When this is over, everybody's going to come up to me like, no, I'm going to tell you what your flaw is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, well, sometimes we're the last to know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let's just say this. Yes. Okay, let's just say this. Yeah. Let's just say I'm reactive. You're reactive. <laughs> but with everything, when I'm excited, yeah. I'm like, ah! Yeah. Ah! You know, so, like yeah. I don't hold back my emotions, man. I noticed. But, but, but I don't hold back my emotions. <laughs> when I'm super excited, I don't have any filter whatsoever. I don't care if any, I'm in a funeral and I just got super happy and I'll start tap dancing on top of the. the well, concert. what about when you're not super happy? Because you're an eternal optimist. I know this is about you. Because you, you. Don't start sitting like that, like you're going to give me a diagnose. I've already written you a prescription. <laughs> okay, miss? No, I'm just uh, <laughs> Uh, Sanax yeah. and <laughs> well no but I think I think you were pretty bang on I know you pretty good I think the the I think well I'm not it's not my job to really analyze you in this particular situation this is your show but I no, do I do I show. do think you are almost uh how do I say this and be nice? Because I, I, I think, no, I think you might be maybe a little bit falsely optimistic at times. Are you, okay. are you trying to convince yourself or everyone else that everything's okay? No, well, see, my optimism. Or are you just a genuine optimist? Dude, I'm a serial optimist. Like yeah. I, I'm always super, like I, I, I welcome adversity because I'm like, okay, shit's going down. I don't necessarily say, oh, it's going to be, oh, I don't go around saying, oh, don't worry, but it's going to be fine. I'm not a, I don't have that positive yeah. bullshit. You're just like, like everything's this. awesome. Doesn't no. Doesn't matter what's going on. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay. no that's ridiculous. Okay. I'm an optimist. It, an optimist to me is somebody that, to me, it's like, I don't, I don't look at just me. I look at everything around me. I look at the entire picture. Yeah. Okay. So when shit goes down, I'm like, this is, I just have to understand what's happening all around me. And maybe I'm the piece that needs to crumble for everything else to be in a better place. Mm. And then I get it. You know what I mean? I'm very clear about that. So when I'm optimist, I'm like, okay, yeah. I get it. So let's say for example, I didn't get the job. I'm not, I'm not hurt because I didn't get the job. Yeah. I'm excited because there's somebody that's going to give, do, do the job that's needed for whatever person is needing the job yeah. and it's not necessarily me do you know what i mean so i'm optimist to the uh, of the entire picture not just myself do you understand wow so that's to, that's that that's where my optimism comes that's from. very selfless and kind of beautiful i mean i'm not yeah that. no i am i have to work yeah. really hard to be optimistic yeah. i wake up and put my feet on the ground and go here we go again. Dude, I wake up in the morning and I'm my dirty. I know, you're, I I know you're, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> now, I'm not saying, like, I'm, I say that with no degree of yeah, pride of whatsoever. No, I understand. But it's like, I got to spend an hour yeah. getting myself into that space of, like, it's going to be a good day. Everything's going to be all right. Not, not bullshitting sure. myself. But, yeah, like, yeah. saying, like, hey, I got, I, you know, I have a certain amount of, choice in the matter yeah like of course if, mm. if the day is going to be as good as i choose 100 to you know uh you know participate that's the magic word yeah. word is choose you know what i mean yeah it is a choice. It, it is so yeah. for me but you make that choice I innately do, i do oh i do not God. so it's just habit also and when and and yeah i just feel that you know if i if if, if i don't know I, I can't explain it's just a habit it's it's you, you we're well, built out of habits and rituals, right? Yeah, that's why we practice whatever we practice. A thousand percent. And a belief is only a thought that you think over and over and over and over again. So oh, you yeah. want to change your life, change your thoughts, change your beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. So by, by setting up the tone of the day, it doesn't matter what bad shit happens. Yeah. You're ready for it, man, because it's your attitude. Life is not in a straight line. Life goes like that. And a lot of times you got to go that way because you got to fucking do it again. And that's fine, right? Mm -hmm. So that's me. 
So that's where my optimist comes from, right? It's just yeah. the way I place the, the, the parts in my head so that I can have a better day every day and, 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 and be fucking excited about it, dude. Yeah. You know, it's like- well, your, your excitement's contagious. It's like, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm fucking excited all the time because I know I am evidence that something fucking amazing is gonna happen and you fucking made it. Yeah. It's an, I have miles of evidence of that every day. Yep. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, you and me. I'm telling you. <gasps> I don't know. <gasps> what makes you sad? Huh. Much like yourself, pretty happy most of the time these days. But, uh, hmm. ah. there's a million answers to this question, you know that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so quiet. This is actually a tough question for me. Um, <sighs> watching people suffer when they don't have to. And I've seen that. I mean, watching people suffer, watching anyone suffer, or, you know, an animal, or, you know, any living thing suffer is never easy if you have a heart, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But I think when you see people that have given up on themselves, or they're in denial of what's going on, and maybe they believe that what's happening to them is unique, or can't be helped or you see someone that just can't get out of their own way mm -hmm. and they systematically just kind of wither away disappear die hurt people you know it's uh yeah, it, it causes me a lot of sadness. I see it. I've seen a lot of it in my own family. I've seen it with a lot of my friends. And it's nothing I can do. You know, like it's like you said earlier about guilt. There are certain things I can do. And I'm not somebody that believes in limitations, mm -hmm. but there are limitations with mm -hmm. certain things. And, you know, you see somebody get cancer and they don't want to go. They don't want to change their diet or you, you see, some, you know, and it's like, you know, that can be different, yeah. you know, when you see somebody that simply showing themselves some love or giving themselves some time to rest or, mm -hmm. you know, they just take care for themselves, something a that's just a little like, something, a little change, a little change. And they can't do it for whatever reason, and, you like know, they're giving up on themselves. So they don't. Yeah. Or they don't even know how to do yeah. it that nobody ever showed them. They never saw it modeled mm -hmm. for them. That's true. So it's like, and we can't save everybody, you know? No. That's the thing. It's like, we've got to put the oxygen mask on ourselves yeah. sometimes true. before we can help anybody else. But I think, um, you know, me to personally, to, yeah. to many things, I've lost a lot of people to things that I didn't have to lose them. And, you know, I choose to believe in a 
higher power out there in this universe, but there's plenty of stuff that happens in this world that doesn't make a goddamn bit of sense. None. With all and due we respect. Don't, yes. I don't know. Don't. I, why would this happen? Why would this be allowed to happen? And, that, and you know what? Nobody One thing does. I know is that I don't know. No. And no. there's a lot I don't know about most of the things I think I know. Yeah. And life so, is not fair. It never has been and no, never will be. No, and that's yeah. that's a myth. I mean, people, yeah. you know, I, uh, I know somebody that loves everything to always be fair. Oh, it's no. always got to be fair. And my thought on that is, like, I've never seen that. Let me know when you find no, that because happen. I've never seen it. And you know, it's a, and it's uh, and it's it's also perspective, man. What's fair, anyways? You know. Yeah. To who? To who? Yeah. Got it. Let's do the All last right. one for me. Last one God, for me. Soft and gentle, please. All right. What episode in your life put a dent in your universe? God, why are these questions so difficult? Because everybody gets. I, with me, it's always heavy. God damn, son. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not certain. Oh shit! I'll tell you which one. Tell me no, what episode in your life put a, a put a, a dent, dent in, in your <laughs> universe. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> I feel like Rip Taylor. Remember that guy from the '70s? Dude, so <laughs> I'm actually bummed I didn't throw more of them. Go ahead. Um, Dude, so I had to. Man, so. This is this is a really hard one, bro. This one of those little things that keeps visiting you, you know. Mm -hmm. So I get hired to direct a, a, a live show, right? Mm -hmm. What and are those? <laughs> Just kidding. You mean like this one? <laughs> 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 so it was a lot. No, it was live to tape, right? Okay. So you know, I when when the production company came, you know, came forward and they say, "We love your personality and, da -da -da, and the way you treat the arm, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. we'd love for you to direct this show, right?" Okay. I have no, sh I have no fucking clue how to do this shit in life, right? Okay. I know the, all the cameras and you know what, what Kevin is doing right now, right? Yeah. And this is a nice little cozy one. The other one was like a really big, like a lot of shit going on, right? How old were you? <laughs> 14. Okay. No, man. Okay. <laughs> that was like six years ago. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> this I, was, I was a full. So it was semi recent. Grown semi -recent. recent. I, You're yeah, a grown man, woman. I was grown woman. Okay. Full grown ass woman, man. Yeah. <laughs> just, I just want to make sure. And me, I was like, yeah, let's do this, but know that I don't know how to do it. Da, 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 da. Uh, and like, just learn. <laughs> yeah. Just jump off the bridge. You'll be and fine. I, I, like yeah. all that. They were just like cheering me on, right? Uh -huh. And uh, somebody in this room knows the story very well. So, because she was with me, <laughs> and I was like, you know, getting tips from this and that and the other. But long story short, dude, day of the shoot comes along. Oh shit! You gotta write that sh shit down. How do I even write this? Story? Uh, see, it's not so easy sometimes. No. And you have a better pen than me, so you better you're, do it. You're right. And I started telling the story backwards. It's okay. So thanks for. Is that no? Is that bad that I interrupted you? No, I'm glad you did because I forgot to write it, dude. Okay. Yeah. I just don't know how to write this. I know. You're 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 my what? favorite. Fishing friend, I have. <laughs> Would you like to use mine too? <laughs> like a long answer. <laughs> Let's glue it together. Son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> when I got fired. <laughs> because I sucked as a director. Wow, I love it. <laughs> Yo, this shit hurt. <laughs> oh. Bro, I'm still shedding a tear over that one every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ouch, what, what hurts? Oh, yeah, six years ago, you see. <laughs> so, what Was happened? it a really big job? Dude, it was a fucking ginormous job, bro. It was <laughs> fucking huge. Oh, my God. <laughs> But I never said I was good at it, so I was. Okay. I was. I walked into a job saying, "Yo, I have no idea what I'm doing, bro. I'm gonna prove it to you because I'm not gonna do it right." So, so when I get on the, so the day of the actual rehearsal with the cameras and everything, there was yeah. big talent there and all this shit. Yo, I just was, you know, whatever. Point of the matter is that I just wasn't good at it. Yeah. And then all the lights go off. Everybody's on their phone trying to get another director. And I'm like, 
helping. I'm like, how can I help you get somebody better than me? Oh my god! <laughs> I've been like in pre-production for like three weeks on that job. So I, you know, I, I made new friends and I yeah. was there every day and I was doing my best. You know what I mean? But it wasn't the type of director. I, you know, I direct music videos. And I yeah. do a different type of, of, of content. Yeah. But a big live show, it's not what I do. It's not my, and it felt so impersonal for me because I'm used to this. Yeah. When I'm directing on, on set, I got a camera and I'm touching you and I'm yeah. over there. It's like you're stuck in this little room. Nobody knows you. You're there by yourself. You know, you don't have that. Yeah. It's so, so different than what I'm used to, right? It's a whole different, it's, it's, it's just a, the dynamics are completely different. They're, mm. they're, they, I just wasn't good at it, right? Sure, yeah. So they're like, no. And I was like, you're right. I suck at something. Because the next day, they were shooting the show, right? Oh, wow. And that wasn't it. That, I was okay with that. Because it, for me, it was like, for the better pick, I don't, I don't want to be the one that sinks this boat, dude. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's not going to sink, because no one's going to let it sink. Yeah. But I was all about getting somebody better instantly. But that wasn't the problem. The problem was that I, I was still going to work, because they didn't know how to fire me. <laughs> oh, so you were still showing up. <laughs> Did you still get paid? I did! So I kept going wow. on this. I kept showing up on this fucking shoot. And I had nothing to do. And I was like, doo doo doo. And this <laughs> rock star, ah, this, rock star, this rock star director's like, fucking do this shit. And I'm like sitting around going, I don't know what to do. I have nothing to do. But nobody had the balls to fire me because they all liked me. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> Did, but you learn like, stuff. You learn. No, I from learned the how to fucking cry with my eyes dry, bro. I was so uncomfortable. Oh. I would sit around like this, man. I would walk around holding my eyelids like this, swallowing my own yeah. tears. I was oh so uncomfortable. I wanted to kill myself. I didn't know what to do. Nobody knew what to if, do. I don't know if I could stay. I don't know how you did it. Dude, I don't know how, to, how the hell I did it. I walk in and I was like, is somebody going to fire me one day? Because I have nothing to do. And nobody would fire me. Like a, like a week later or so, dude, I was like, no, maybe she was like forever to me, dude. But I was just lingering around like yeah. the director has nothing to do on the set. And one day, I was like a Friday, I got home and then the executive producer called and he was a super nice guy. Yeah. And I was like, bro, just say it, man. <laughs> Take me out of this misery, dude, and let me go, man. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> let me make it easy for you. <laughs> and then that was that. But but it it was the hardest thing for me was that is feeling that that I wanted to do something right I couldn't do it that and then I had to sit around in that space where it was so awkward for so long yeah and I didn't I didn't I was misplaced I was walking around completely misplaced yeah. watching everybody work and I loved to work but I had no work for there was no work for me but they yeah. they didn't know what to do with me they didn't know how to get rid of me because they just wow. <laughs> you know but it was great because. Because everybody there was, you know, I had an art show a couple weeks after that, and every single person from that show showed up, yeah. from the PA to the to the to the to the actors and the singers and the bands and like the executive producers. Everybody showed up yeah. to my show, which was so lovely, you know, being yeah. that I that I felt like such a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great lesson it, in me to to just know that I could talk about uncomfortable it was one of the most uncomfortable situations of my life sounds like it <laughs> and if you can be in, if you can suck it up through being really really uncomfortable you can put yourself through anything man. yeah <laughs> and live through it I don't know if I could do that go ahead Jesus Ooh, how do you feel when you're wrong <sighs> well, first of all it doesn't happen that much no, I'm oh, kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, um, actually, it's, it's a. Uh, <laughs> um, How do you feel when you're wrong? Oh, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word for this. Um, Are you the type of person who hates to be wrong? Or doesn't admit when they're wrong? Um, it's not so much that I can't admit it immediately. Uh, I think, how do I feel? Uh, I don't know if it's, this is a feeling, but I would say, uh, I think, 
Here. Here, sir. I got it. Start it's finally struggling. working. But I don't even know if I can spell the word. <laughs> Embarrassed. Oh, what a simple word. Yeah. Well, I, you know what I always loved about embarrassed is it. It's uncomfortable. I'm bare assed. I never saw that until today. But, there you go. but I think that when I'm wrong, I have that. It's almost like that, a little bit of that self uh, torture of like, oh. I'm stupid. Or I should know better. But it's a little yourself. bit. I I think also there's some there's some anger as well. When oh. I'm wrong, I'm a, I'm angry that I'm wrong, because I have a lot of perfectionism. Uh, so I don't like. Well, I I don't mind making mistakes as much as I like. I used to okay. completely destroy myself <sighs> if I made even a little mistake, let alone a big one. Um, but I found that the thing that has become uh, so valuable for me is kind of trying to keep that sort of uh, eternal student mentality. Oh, yeah. Like, well, I really great. don't, kn you know what I mean? Like, even yeah. when I make mistakes, it's like, yeah, of course I do. I'm, That's great, I'm just, though. Yeah, like, I don't have to have everything figured out. I think for the longest time, sure. I always felt like people thought... Less of you. Yeah, or that they, like, like, that people judged you harshly when you admitted you were wrong. Where, oh, like, whereas oh, people, it turns out, as far as I can tell, <laughs> judge much more harshly when you can't admit that you're wrong. You know? So I find the sooner the mistake is owned, yes, the, or the or you know I can admit that I'm wrong, the better off everybody is. Hundred percent. You, you know? move on. Yeah. You let it go. Yeah, like when I was a kid, I get caught in a lie, <laughs> and I just be like, no, that didn't happen. No, you know, I would just, <laughs> I, I would forever, just, dude. yeah, I would just absolutely <gasps> no. take it to the grave, <laughs> and I'll never forget the first time. You know, it's, you know, I can't remember what, like, because I just lied because I didn't even know why. Almost because it was... Because you got away with it. Yeah. It was like, and then immediately the afterwards, it was the, and it was a dumb white lie. And I was like, I just lied. Like, just admitting Dude, immediately, habit, no, like, that immediate, like, accountability. Like, it was terrifying. But at the same time, there was so much relief in that moment. It's like, I don't have to pretend... Oh, yes, 100%. You know? Let's move on from this. You know what I mean? So that yes. makes it, but, that, but, but the thing is, to answer your question, embarrassed, but ultimately uncomfortable. I feel ugh, uneasy when I'm wrong, but it's, it's, it's bullshit. It's yeah, ego. It's ego. Wait. Good. I, I don't. got my ego ah! stuck. <laughs> Dude, check it out. Yeah. This, is, this is a really fun part of the show. Okay. Where we ask a question to somebody on the crew. Oh. And we're going to pick Mr. Oh, yeah. Mr. Papo. Oh, yeah, Papo. <laughs> Papo, 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 Papo. Come on, boy. All right, boy. You're going to come over here and pick your question from the floor, son. Papo is our DP extraordinaire. Okay. Ah, all right. I like this one. Oh, my God. So I'm going to ask him? Yes, ask him. Okay. <laughs> what thought paralyzes you? <laughs> What thought paralyzes? ¿Qué pensamiento te paraliza? Hmm. What thought paralyzes? He's already better at this than us. Yeah. See how quick he answered that? <laughs> Maybe you should be part of the show. <laughs> We're sitting here like pensively, deeply <laughs> in thought. Where um, the, the DP is getting um, assistance, uh, getting mm. a consultant. Yes. <laughs> cool. I got it. Okay. Oh my God, I can't wait. <gasps> oh! oh! 
Well, that's, yeah. And you're, oh, you're a cameraman. That made me so, sick. Yeah. That paralyzed me, to dude. To be blind. <gasps> Wow. Oof, marica, me mataste. It's okay. funny because, yeah. I... Oh, oh, oh. That... No, no, that's deep, man. <sighs> that's, that's enough, deep. man. Yeah. Yeah. That wow. made that put me in a really bad place. <laughs> made you uncomfortable. He's fine. No, your, your, your answer made me really nice uncomfortable. <laughs> Worse more than the question. Damn, son. This was intense. <laughs> yeah. I knew it would be, though. I know, because we get intense. Yeah, we do. This is, yeah. yeah. We, go, was, we go deep, 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 deep. I was a little scared. Like, when you, when you originally asked me, I was like, well, what are some, like, of course, I I've already it. had you on my podcast, right. and I was, like, asking you a bunch of deep personal questions. Um, but I was like, how it's my turn. <laughs> hard is this going to be? Because I don't like being on the other side of this. I know, but, but you I, did great. Well, and it was great. It was great to hear what you have to say about me, about what I had to say, because you made me think more about what I said. Somebody yeah. Said. Yeah. No. Totally. That's <laughs> that's what friends so, are for. I know. So thank you so much for playing with me and getting mm. uncomfortable. Thank you so much for having so much. me. I love that's you great. too. Get this microphone off of me. I have to go to the bathroom. Thank you guys. Thank you all so much. Thank I you. Appreciate it. Woo! Woo! Get uncomfortable. I'm slight.